Hey, what's going on? Sean back here again. You know, I want to talk specifically. I want to talk specifically to the music industry out there. And my message to the music industry is who the fuck do you think you are? You live in a bubble in Hollywood and Nashville and New York City and you think everyone else in this country is like you when you are the vast, vast minority. You're not the majority. Now, I've been making my living as a musician since I was 17 years old. I took a little, little break for the army. I took a break when I was living in Nashville trying to make my living writing songs and producing records. But other than that, I've been a live performing musician who's fed my family, by the way, and fed myself and worked as much as I wanted to to my physical limit for well over 30 years. Yes, I just aged myself. And I've toured this entire country as well as a lot of the world. I lived in Europe and I played. And uh, people don't, the majority of people don't believe what you believe. They don't believe in authoritarian, you know, tactics. They don't believe that you should dictate to others how to live. Never before in humanity have we seen these kind of uh, medical lockdown tactics. That's all I'm going to say. Mandates, things that are so foreign and diametrically opposed to the founding principles of this country that it makes me sick to even have to talk about it. Let me tell you something, music industry. You've been putting out shitty fucking music and pushing non-talented artists that apparently would sign any contract and foregoing the real talent out there since the inception of the music industry. And those behind it know exactly who I'm talking to. People don't need to come see live music. It's a privilege that they do come. They're not all dumb sheep and cattle to be uh, you uh, to be brainwashed and propagandized into liking these uh, these vapid artists in these nursery rhyme songs that you guys push. All right, I know about this industry. I know the whole agenda and people would and do want to see live music from real artists but they're not going to go along with this jab thing okay it's experimental it hasn't been out for years and years and years if you go to the CDC VAERS database you'll see that it's killed more people than any other thing in history you are the experimental control group out there, those of you who took the thing. You're not going to mandate on people that just because you say so, they can't come see your shows. That's insane. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? What kind of pull do you actually think you have in people's lives? You actually think your sense of self-importance is laughable. You actually think that you're far more important than you are. Um, the hubris is is almost comical. If it wasn't so sad, it would I would be hysterically laughing at it. Instead of going back and forth between being angry and finding it very, you know, sad, melancholy, funny. But this is not going to end well for the music business because, you know, it's just like the movie business. Where's all the movie theaters now? Who's going to the Who's going to the theater? I don't see too many people going to the theater and they're just fine with it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to lock out definitely half of the United States that's on a certain ideological right side scale. There's a lot of independence as well you're going to lock out. You're going to get a small minority of Bob Lefsitz, you know, zombie leftist parroting fucking idiots out there who are going to go take that thing and are going to come to your shows. But after all the effects of that thing kick in, who's going to be left to come see your shows? You know, you're all shooting yourselves in the ass. You need to come and have your concerts in red states, such as Florida, Texas, Idaho, Montana, K 
Kansas, it doesn't matter. Come, hold your shows without a muzzle, without mandating some type of a, uh, you know, jab. That's the most antithetical thing you could possibly do that's an affront on my liberties. That's an affront on the oath I took when I joined the army. That's an affront on every single freedom ideal that our our country was founded upon. And it's not going to go well for you guys. You're not as important as you think you are. And uh, really, I hope it hurts you. I hope the music industry crumbles. I hope it sh dies. I hope these artists that are going along cowardly with the likes of Live Nation and AEG and these label heads who don't give a rat's ass about you, or you're just brainwashed ide ideologically leftist idiots like most of you are. The ones that aren't, and I'm not talking about just Ted Nugent and me, people out there of sane mind, don't not tour. Don't require these mandates because you're just going to kill your business, your live touring business, as well as your career. Come to a red state uh, market that it's free and open with no requirements, no muzzles. And I can guarantee you there's a huge swath of of Americans out there that would appreciate it. This goes for Canadians too, but Canadians, you know, you got your own problems up there. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to comment on your issues up there, but uh, I hope you, I hope you guys wake up and do something about it because none of us are gonna be voting ourselves out of this tyranny. I can tell you that right now. It's going to take some action and I'm not talking about violence. We're just gonna have to stand up and say no. And I'm telling you right now, people are going to stand up and say no to the music industry and you're shooting yourselves in the foot. And I, you know, again, it could it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of folks. So I'm looking forward to all of your bankruptcies and your ruined careers because you're fucking stupid and you're pushing un-American mandate Gestapo Marxist fucking values on Americans. And it's not gonna fly. So music business, go fuck yourselves. Fuck you.